Do you need to learn coding when AI can do the coding for you? As a biologist, in my previous video, I have told you that learning coding for biology is important. But somebody in the comment section said that we can always ask AI to do the coding for us, right? So, in this video, let's try to find out whether we will still need to learn coding if AI can do the coding for us. Are the software engineering jobs going to go away? And do the biologists never need to learn coding? The answer to that question is going to be in this video. Now, let's get started with the first thing. Recently, I was doing coding for uh, our one of our projects, okay? And I was taking help of AI, okay? So, I was taking help of AI to... Uh, create the code because I'm a lazy guy. I don't like writing lines of code. So the AI was doing it. But then each time I was running the code, it was getting stuck. There was some bug. And I was not able to figure out what was the bug, right? So I went back to the AI, said that, hey, there is a bug. So please fix the bug. The, the AI gave me again another code. Still, there was, a, there was a bug. Since I have coding knowledge, I was able to figure out where exactly there is a bug in the code which the AI was not able to figure out? Well, many of you will say that in the future, the AI will be perfect and uh, then this problem won't come. But there are cases where you are analyzing complicated, complex biological data. And AI will take some more time to generate algorithms for that kind of data. And at the same time, if in future, the AI gets stuck and is not able to reproduce the right code for you, then you need to dial a software engineer. Then you need to reach out to somebody who will do it for you and they will charge you in dollars, mind you. But what if you can do it yourself? You can be that superpower in your lab. You can not just do coding, you can analyze the code. You can develop a better code. And at the same time, you can analyze the biological data, figure out where the AI is going wrong. And of course, I'm not saying you're not going to take help of AI. I'm also taking help of AI in writing my codes. You can also do that. So the era has come for assisted coding, not pure coding. The era of pure coding is gone. So let me give you an example, which a biotech CEO gave me years ago. And he told to me that, Shekhar, I wear specs. Now, if I remove my specs, my eyesight is so bad that I cannot work in a normal day-to-day -day life. So what this specs is doing is, it is creating a level playing field so that I can play the role effectively of a biotech CEO. The same way, AI and coding is going to assist you and create a level playing field so that you don't need to you know, depend on a software engineer to do the job for you. right? So recently, I had posted this question on social media to count the nucleotides in a DNA sequence, right? And somebody had replied, hey, we can use chat GPT for that or we, we can take help of AI. But what if there is a bug? Do you need to dial a software engineer? What if there is not a simple problem statement, but a complicated problem statement, right? Where you are analyzing the sequence to figure out the flaws which is causing a disease. The AI may not be able to write that kind of complicated code. It can assist you. It can help you create a level playing field, just like the specs. So it is important to learn AI. It is important to learn machine learning as a biologist. It is important to learn the base of AI ML. That is, we are starting the Coding for Biologists initiative, where you can learn code. You can also learn how can you use AI to do the coding? How can you uh, do big data biology with the help of coding? And all of that with the help of three scientists. Yes, Dr. Nilof Sheikh, Dr. Prakriti Singh, and Mr. Pradyot Banerjee, where they will teach you coding, they'll give you live exercises, they'll make you a bio-coder. Link and details in the description. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to comment below. And if you want to write to me for any personal question, you can write to me at shekhar at biotechnica.org. Thank you so much for watching this video. See you soon in the next one. Till then, keep shining. Bye-bye.